What's my top tip for anyone applying to Ones to Watch? I'd say just just be really singular. Don't try and second guess what you think the industry wants or how you might fit into something that's already happening or, or try and be too strategic that way. Just go in really with, with the projects you're really passionate about and talk about that and the kind of producer that you want to be. Don't be afraid to say what you really want. Like, don't be afraid to talk about the kind of career you want to have and, and what your aspirations actually are. If you're dreaming big and, and you're actively working towards that, you need to communicate that. That's incredibly important. Think about what it is that you've done in your work to date. Think about how you drew out value from those opportunities, what it is that's interesting and maybe a little bit unusual about your career, uh, and look at how that can fit into a holistic whole. We had a cohort this year that was made up of a really diverse range of practitioners who brought varying perspectives and experiences that we were all able to benefit from. So I think the more that you're able to speak to the work that you've done to date and how you're looking to continue that in terms of what's next for your career, the better chance you've got. Give it your role and put your heart and soul into it. And you know, ultimately you want to show them why you were the next ones to watch. I'd say honesty, just be honest from where you are as a producer and why this is the perfect opportunity for you. I think if you just know where you are, say what you need um, out of this opportunity and why you're the best applicant, then it'll be okay. My tip for applying to the Ones to Watch program would be to think about who you are as a producer now and where you want to be in the next couple of years because this opportunity is great for putting you on the map and it's your job to sort of tell people who you are and where you want to be in the next year or so. So do you want to be making feature films, TV shows, or in my case, short film series, which meant that I was able to, you know, talk to the right people, know who they are, and, you know, identify the correct mentor for myself as well, uh, rather than aiming for the wrong type of people. Uh, it also meant that I was, you know, I understood my brand and, and who I was to people as well, like what type of content I would like to talk to them about. Uh, and it helped me pick who I wanted to have meetings with as well. It's, it's kind of hard when you're starting out to, to kind of define who are you, what is your voice as a producer? And I think that um, the more you can sort of ask yourself those questions, the more that's going to help when, you, when you're sort of fronting up as a producer to other people. Um, knowing what kinds of projects you like, what you would ideally want to be working on, how you like to work, what kinds of relationships you like and what your relationship style is. Um, all of that's really valuable to know when you're applying. 